two wins today, Danielle, into the quarterfinals here in Charleston. You beat Angebur earlier this morning, three sets. Now Sloan Stevens in straight sets. Take me through your day. Yeah, I mean, I can't remember the last time that I played uh, five sets in a day. It probably hasn't been since, like, the juniors, so, like, the 12 and unders or something when you play <laughs> two matches a day. But, um, yeah, with the inclement weather, um, we had to adjust. And I think on these days you have to be really flexible and versatile out there. Um, and I, I really feel like in the end, like, my physical fitness paid off. I'm training for a marathon, so that worked in my favor. Um I was supposed to have a long run today, so um, I was kind of thinking, you know, when we were when I was talking with people about oh the potential of playing two matches, I was like, well, that's fine. I was scheduled to do a long run today anyway, so we'll see. Um, this will be a test of my endurance and great for my upcoming marathon at the end of the year. What what marathon are you running? We're not sure yet. I think I'm probably going to do one in my home state in Florida because I'd like to run on flat yeah. <laughs> and in warm weather and it's also going to be at the end of the year and I'm not a cold weather gal so um yeah so we're, I'm still trying to figure that out and just like the timing of when the season will end for me and when you know my last tournament will be so trying to space it out so I can get some adequate training what, what do you think is tougher running a marathon or, or playing two matches in one day Oh, I think for me, probably running the marathon because <laughs> I've never done it before. I mean, I've ran a half marathon before, not in an official race, but um, I've done that and that's hard enough. But I think a full marathon is going to really humble me. Um, you will, we'll find out. So, uh, yeah, the two matches was tough, but I think ultimately I'm, I'm in pretty good shape and I've been really healthy the last couple of weeks. Um, got through that back injury at Indian Wells and went out in Miami and had a really great run. So I'm just trying to keep the run going. And um, yeah, I, I'm excited to be out there, even though it was a it was a bit of a grind today. You're such a baller. I mean, like coming off of Miami, coming straight here, winning back to back matches in one day. Is, is it all adrenaline right now or like where's your energy level at? Well, you know, I think a lot of it's nutrition and making sure that you're getting the right stuff in you and um, spacing it out and eating the right supplements and all of that stuff at the right times. And, um, you know, after the first match, I had to make sure I get some food in me. And I also had to get another uh, quick meal in before I went out um, here and make sure I had enough gas in the tank. And uh, I was fueling on the changeovers and really making sure my uh, my levels were right. And uh I tried to play tactically in a way, too, that, you know, we could kind of get out of here uh, on a timely manner. Um, so that's hard to do when you're playing against Sloane because she can really extend the points and, and keep you out there for a long time, the way that she moves around the court and uh, is able to um, play those long points. But luckily, with uh, my power and uh, physical strength out there today, I was feeling good. So it was working in my favor, my game plan. That, that's amazing. So right now in the live rankings, you're up to 20. Olympics nice. is that something that's a big goal of yours for this year yeah I mean I'd love nothing more to represent my country my um, favorite memories on court are honestly the weeks at Billie Jean King Cup there's nothing nothing like it and especially being on a team with um, you know these women that I've known for a very long time um, Jess and I are the same age and close friends and um, Maddie Keys and I have known each other since we were like eight or nine years old and we used to be pen pals um, and then you know with Coco and Emma and them being a little bit younger over the last couple of years really got to know Coco well and spent time with her and um, you know Emma and I went to the same school and right. so and then we've got a whole list. Of, if we go down the list, we've got like probably 10 more that could, you know, anything could happen at this point. So um, the good thing is, is that we have so many strong U.S. players. So no matter who ends up going to the Olympics, we're going to have a really fierce team. And um, I'm excited for it either way, whether I play um, or I or I don't. Um, I'm really excited to see how we do at the Olympics this year. We have such a strong group of girls. Yeah, the, the U.S. women are doing so well. Listen, you, you beat Bedosa, you beat Jabir, the returning champion, you beat Sloan Stevens, a Grand Slam champion. You're coming off the Miami title. I don't know what your longest win streak of all time is, but is this the best tennis you've played in your life? Um, I'd like to think that, but I'm not sure. I mean, you know, it comes in waves, I feel like, and there's been times where I think I've played like this in the past and making finals, semifinals, quarterfinals of slams and going, having some deep runs. Um, but it's really especially nice that this is all kind of coming together at the end of my career because I want to go out with a bang, like I said. So I, I want to play my best tennis and, um, 
this really means a lot that I especially started to find my groove um, in the U.S. tournaments and having the home crowd support. Well, I know they, they love to see you win and love to see you play. Thank you, guys. Uh, congratulations on the victories today. Get some rest, and we'll see you back here tomorrow. Yeah. All right. See you tomorrow.